This is just a quick overview of the Costa Corbina sunglasses. A Corbina, if you weren't aware, is a fish found in the Gulf of Mexico uh, and then in the Pacific off the coast of California, around Baja, California. So Costa is oriented towards people that do fish, whether commercial or recreationally. They're known for that. Uh, that's the center of the sports market that they're focused on. These are Oakleys. These were purchased back in the mid-90s. Uh, they're oriented more towards land sports like baseball, golf, volleyball. I was playing a lot of volleyball at the time, so I wanted some lightweight glasses. Um, and the Oakleys, what I liked about them was they were lightweight, and they had polycarbonate lenses, and they were curved. So they would cover more of your spectrum from uh, peripheral vision to the left to the right. Uh, there are no heavy frames to get in the way. You had clear vision everywhere. Uh, I also like the fact that they had the hydrolite in the nose and in the ear stems, uh, which are still there. I don't know if you can really see them, but it's like a silicone uh, that will stick to your face. It was something that uh, Oakley had come out with when they were doing handle grips for BMX bikes. The wetter it got with sweat, the better the grip. And of course, when you're playing sports, you're going to sweat. At the beach, you're going to get wet. You wanted something that would stay on your face, and these have served me well. They're 20 years old. Uh, I paid about 150 bucks for them in the early to mid-90s. They came with the bag, which served as the cleaning cloth. You don't want to try and clean a treated lens like these with your shirt, or you will scratch them or peel the film off. So they recommended using the bag. It's worked well. I had to pay an extra 50 bucks for the hard case. Well worth the money. I strongly encourage you to use a hard case. This has survived numerous years in my beach volleyball bag being thrown around in the back of a truck, thrown on the sand, never been crushed. Uh, as you can see, the glasses are still functional, but they're 20 years old. So I wanted to go with something that's more in this century. So I looked at the Costas because they have a lot of experience with people that are on the water. Their lenses are oriented uh, towards being able to see through glare. These are polarized. These are not. What I like about these is they used a lot of the same technology that Oakley had in the 90s, meaning the, there's a good curvature to it. They've got the uh, hydrolite in the nose piece, across the ears, any place that's going to touch your skin except for underneath the, the here, which is good because I wanted these to be able to move around, but not on my nose, not on my ears. Um, it came with a cleaning cloth, not a bag, but a cloth. But what I really like about them is for the same $200 that I paid in today's dollars, $200 in 90s dollars, it came with the hard case, and I already know they're worth the money, so this should get me another 20 years out of these. What I like about this is I had to, I didn't have to, but I went ahead and spent the money on a retaining strap. I went with a silicone. They make them in wire. They make them in cloth. I wanted the silicone because I already know that it's going to be, uh, it's not going to absorb water. It's not going to absorb sweat. It's going to be easy to clean and maintain, um, so that's why I went with that style of retaining strap. I knew that eventually I would be using these for kayaking, canoeing, fishing, if I ever get the opportunity. So I wanted a retaining strap because all day long you can see videos of scuba divers that are just pulling glasses out by the handful from people that have lost them while swimming, while walking across a dock, while getting in or out of a boat, while canoeing, paddle boarding, wind sailing. So I wanted these to be able to stay on my face. If I'm going to spend $200 on a pair of glasses, I want to have them for as long as I've had these. Now, out of the box, it came in this box with the decal, a thank you card, and then the warranty information. Costas come with a lifetime warranty. If they break, uh, if part of the stuff peels off, if you lose part of the film, they'll fix it. Uh, that's what I like about them. I also like about them is that you can get different colors in the frames. I wanted something flashy. I went with the chrome frame. You can get them in a matte black. You can get them in a matte gray, blue, tortoise shell, whatever you want. Everybody does it in black. But what I wanted something a little bit flashier so that I could see my glasses in case I loaned them to somebody. I could tell which ones were mine. Now what I like about this is they've blacked out the inside, which is the part that your eyeballs actually see. So you're not going to get blinded by your own glasses. You're going to see nothing but black. Everybody else is going to see the chrome. Now, because these are very popular, they're also easily counterfeited. You'll go on eBay, you'll see them for 50 bucks, 70 bucks, and you'll think it's a good deal. They're counterfeit. You can tell which ones are the real Costas, because inside here, they'll have Costa either printed in the frame or stamped on the frame. 
they're not going to come off. It'll always say Costa. On this side, it'll have the patent registration number and then the name of the frame. In this case, Corbina. A lot of the counterfeits, it's just a decal. You can take your thumb and wipe it off. You can also tell when you get the real Costa lenses, which is what Costa is known for. They're known for their lenses. In the upper right hand corner, it'll have 580 integrated into the lens. Now they make two kinds of lenses. Glass, which is the 580G, or plastic, polycarbonate, which is 580P. Just like the Oakleys, these won't shatter. I got the 580P, super lightweight, won't break. I can use them as safety goggles in a pinch. If I have to, I don't plan to. Um, the glass ones are a little bit heavier depending on what's important to you, but they got better image clarity. The glass has great image clarity. Plastic, you lose a little bit, but they're also lightweight. I plan to use these for essentially the same function as this, which is playing volleyball, going jogging, riding my bike, uh, going on a paddleboard, going on a kayak, something of that nature. So I, eye protection for me was a lot more important than image clarity. Um, so again, I really like these glasses compared to the Oakleys. These will probably end up as spares, just in case, you know, one in the truck, one in the house. These will probably stay in the truck as the, just in case I leave these at home for some reason. Always helps to have an extra pair. Um, can't specify enough, I love these. I got this at the Clearwater Beach Paddleboard Shop. Those guys are great to work with. Uh, at the time, we were coming out of COVID-19 quarantine. So appointment was at the store was by appointment only. You can only go in if you arranged it beforehand. But I happened to walk up. I said, hey, I just need to get a pair of sunglasses. They let me in. We talked a bit. They suggested these. I loved them. They're perfect. Uh, can't say enough about them. $200 today's dollars, $200 the 90s dollars. These are definitely going to be the value.